Hey everybody, Anthony here with AR Creates. Got a really quick tutorial for you in Illustrator today. Gonna show you how to stretch letters. Um, this is a really cool effect. Um, there's some cool things you can do with it. Uh, it works great maybe for some logo type um, or if you're just making a graphic and you want your text to stand out, you can take a regular looking font and stretch the letters, manipulate the letters a little bit and just give it a whole different look. Um, so first off, we're gonna open up a new Illustrator document. Um, a bold font to me works best with this. I'm actually using a font that I created um, called All Caps Hero. You can download it in one of the links below, but we're just gonna go ahead and type the word stretch. Then let's go ahead and make it bigger. Okay, and then zoom in. Now here's part, before we get started, this is very important. When you have it selected like this, it's still text. We need to make this an object instead of just text. So you can control shift O or command shift O to outline. And what that's gonna do is convert these into shapes now. So we can't go back and edit this text. So make sure you have your word exactly spelled how you want, because once we start this, you're not gonna be able to go back and change the letters. So with this selected again, you'll hit Control Shift G or Command Shift G, and that will ungroup. And that lets us select these letters as objects individually. So since we're gonna be stretching the E, I'm gonna select the T, C, H, and just use my arrow keys and move them over a little bit. Now we want to zoom in and we're gonna edit the points on this because it's an object now, um, but we're not gonna use the regular selection tool. If you use your arrow selection tool, um, you know, you can stretch it like this, um, you know, but the proportions are gonna get out of whack. It's not really the effect we're looking for. So if you will use your direct selection tool, which hotkey is A, um, and you highlight you start seeing these little white squares that pop up these anchor points so that is what we're going to select now we don't want to select all of them we almost only want to select the parts we want to stretch which is going to be these crossbars here so select the first one and so now it's highlighted um hold down shift and we just want to select these and you'll see they start to turn solid color instead of white squares so we wanna select all of those while holding shift. So what's gonna happen now is as we move these, it's only moving the crossbars. This vertical line will still say the same. And so once we have all of these selected, still holding down shift, you just click one of them and just drag it, okay? And see now they all start to drag, okay? So there you go, super easy way to do that. Now we have a letter that is stretched, you can go back and regroup it. And now you can, you know, manipulate it any other way that you would like. Um, some other ways you can do this. It works really good with an O. So type the word loop. Same thing. Outline it. Ungroup it. Move these letters over here. And direct selection tool, find our first anchor so that we can see these other ones and just select the ones we wanna move and just drag it. And there you go, super easy to do, um, really cool thing. Um, you know, now you can also use this vertically, you know, if we wanna select these points here that we wanna move. Same thing. You know, we can do it that way. Uh, go ahead and select the ones down here. You know, we could raise it up like that. So there's all different kinds of things that you can do with that. Um, but it's just these little things that can really add a lot to a graphic. And the great thing is by doing it this way, you uh, maintain the uh, proportions and everything so that it all looks together. It all flows together real well. Uh, if you, it's hard to do this kind of effect in Photoshop or something like that where you're not editing it as a vector. So that's why it's important to use Illustrator or some other type of vector editing program 
in this because now these are actually objects. They're not fonts. They're not glyphs. Um, and so we can manipulate them in any way. Uh, and while you're at it, just to show you, because it is a shape, um, so you can edit the corners and all that kind of stuff as well. So if you're wanting to really manipulate your text, the best way to do that, put it into Illustrator, convert it to an object, and then now you have um, you know complete control over it. Uh, like one other thing is if you wanted to you know make this part thinner, you know you can do that like these two. So really you can just manipulate it you know a lot of different ways. Um, so anyway, really quick tutorial. Uh, I know it's nothing like super groundbreaking, but you would be surprised that just by doing these little bit of manipulations on text, how much difference you can make in the way that a graphic looks. So anyway, uh, if you create something using this technique, tag me on Instagram at ARCreates. I would love to see what you do, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.